basically it was reported this week that IPSA, who are the Independent Parliamentary Standards Authority, are looking to increase MPs' pay by 10%. So at the moment, MPs are actually on 66,000, so they're being, it's being looked at to go up to 75,000, which is quite a considerable increase in their salary as it is, on top of all their expenses and on top of uh, quite a generous pension scheme. Absolutely not. At present, MPs' salary is already double the national income. And um, if they take this pay increase, that's going to be triple time, triple, triple the amount of money that you know average families take home every month. This is a considerable amount of money. And at this present time and economic situation, I don't think we can afford to pay our MPs this much more money. I think that. If MPs were to get this pay rise, it would be really unpalatable to the public out, out there because um, just last week we saw in the spending review that George Osborne actually capped public sector pay. It would therefore be very difficult for the public to swallow our MPs who are voting through this legislation that is cutting back other, sec other parts of public sector pay and then them to take an actual increase. They need to lead by example. voters. You know, we're looking at a time when people are facing very difficult decisions in terms of spending and for them to then have to, you know, pay up more money for their representatives to get these massive increases, it's quite impalatable to the general public. It will perpetuate this kind of you and them and, you know, people want to see their MPs, you know, representing them, taking the lead, following their example. So they need to look at this. When the rest of the public sector is getting hit by pay restraints, they need to also take this restraint. The issue with this is that you don't go into politics for money. You go in, it's a vocation, you're passionate about it. It's not for the money. If you want to go into poli politics, you're, it's not like you're getting a minuscule salary. You're still getting, you know, double the national salary as it stands. So I think that you have to take that into account. There are fantastic candidates already out there and that we're happy to take up this salary in the last election. So I don't think it would change in terms of now and then. Well, I think IPSA as it stands, and that was created out of the expenses scandal, is quite an unaccountable and um, unelected quango. But actually, when you look at their own polling that they did recently, they, look, they asked the general public their feeling on this issue. And the feeling was that the general public felt that MPs' pay was broadly fair. They've there gone, therefore gone against the public opinion and are trying to bring in this pay increase. However, I do think it's up to MPs then. If this pay rise does go ahead, they do have the, you know, they do have the power to go to the House of Commons and reject this pay rise.